welcome anjali to the dialogue with davin series today you are a very unique guest on our series uh, as opposed to having a hr leader we are having the highest stakeholder in an organization uh, you've been board member of multiple organizations and you continue to be board member of multiple organizations so as someone who holds that position uh, we are very curious and keen to take your perspective and opinion of what do you expect from hr or chro when you actually do your board review first of all thank you for having me it's a pleasure to be here in dialogue with darwin um and it's a great question see increasingly boards are recognizing that culture and talent are the two key enablers for success of the business and and the organization as a whole typically in the board so there is both an expectation uh, from the hr function to not be a business partner alone but a real enabler and a real partner to the overall business as well as a platform for hr to bring these strategic priorities into the board agenda that's 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 great and uh, coming from again the board perspective how frequently do you wish to actually get an insight into what hr is contributing towards the organization and what do you wish to discuss in that and uh, adding to that what should hr take as an initiative to actually get more face time and interest of the board so hr has a lot of interest from the board already uh there is a seat at the table that exists i think it has to be discovered and occupied um talent and performance is always on the board agenda and the more people and culture oriented boards want to hear from their chro at least once a year directly if not more and certainly the chro is part of every nomination and rem committee meeting hr can actually take more initiative and uh, and that will happen in partnership with the ceo in talking about issues of culture culture really is all the software of the organization if the structure is the hardware if performance management is the hardware then culture is the software and it can be a tremendous enabler for performance for innovation for diversity and inclusion and uh, reduces the need to wield a heavy stick so that's that's uh, that's a new way of uh, defining culture probably uh, another question uh, that's often discussed at a board level or pro- at an organization's uh, demand level is the diversity ratio that is expected right. out of the organizations so as a board member again what is what is your insight and what is your expectation on the diversity ratio and how do you want chros to actually uh, deliver towards that so i would flip that a little bit i would actually want chros to not deliver to it but to set the benchmark on it so it would be wonderful if the chro but set an aspirational goal take that to the board and then ask for support and again talking about seat at the table mm-hmm. immediate seat at the table and if i may add to that also you know when when the chro takes charge in some ways it relieves the ceo of the burden and it makes everyone in senior leadership look good and helps the organization meet not just its business imperatives but also the more strategic and market positioning objectives uh, so if it's a high performing organization with a strong culture not just of performance but integrity diversity inclusion makes it an attractive employer enhances the brand as an employer uh, reduces hopefully over time attrition increases retention also becomes attractive for this very complicated but very very important segment of our workforce which is the young digital millennials we've had the pleasure of knowing your perspective on aspects that are critical for today's hr uh, but as part of the series we would also love to share a bit of the personal side of you and the personality side of you to the, the hr leaders out there as well what is your favorite hangout at work walking around the hallways going and meeting my team my people ah that's great um is there a quote or a mantra that you live by authenticity and integrity is critical and commitment to purpose it's great what's one advice for hr own it what's one cliched question that you're tired of answering in these interviews 
really. Tell us about your work-life balance. <laughs> and I think we would have really evolved when all the men get asked that question because I don't know any man who actually wants, is, is happy with the amount of time he spends with his family and doesn't want to spend more time. Yes. So I think work-life balance is a, is a gender agnostic question. I wish everybody is asked that question. Yes. Once again, thank you so much, Anjali, for being a part of this series. Uh, we've had uh, the most unique way of looking at things uh, through this conversation, like I said before. Pleasure to be here and thank you for having me here.